What's going on YouTube? Welcome back for another uh, fragrance video. I want to start this video off by saying thank you for the support. Um, make sure if you enjoy my channel, if you enjoy, you know, fragrance content, and if you come across this page on purpose or accident, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and share any video you see. I greatly appreciate the support. Um, as you saw in the uh, thumbnail, I came across this Parfums de Marley Layton clone, this beautiful bottle right here. Um, first off, the history with me and Parfums de Marley. So this was my first um, niche fragrance. Um, my wife um, surprised me with this. Um, this is a fragrance that I heard of throughout all these years. I've always wanted a bottle, came across it. It was a love at first sniff. Um, always wanted a bottle. And obviously, you know, I, I have the bottle. I've spent many different occasions, times with it, seasons. Um, to me, this is a 10 out of 10 masterpiece. Um, I'm sure you guys hear about it on TikTok and YouTube and Instagram. You know, it's a safe, uh, you know, niche entry uh, bottle. And I completely agree. Um, but it's that pear, the um, vanilla, the apple oh, this stuff is just so good it's spicy it's sweet but a couple weeks ago i accidentally came across accidentally came across a clone contra latin exquisite royal edition guys i am telling you and i'm not down in performance or really latent at all it'll always be a for you know it'll always be a love but this stuff right here. Now, okay. Right off the top, it smells, besides that Vicks Vapor Red type of smell, identical to Parfums de Marley. I mean, it is probably 95%. Um, so you do, you get that apple, you get that vanilla sweetness. Um, you do get kind of that va uh, Vips, uh, the Vicks Vapor Red that people, you know, say in the opening. But first off, I want to show you guys for a $15 fragrance. Look at that, that atomizer. It's a pressurized atomizer. Cap clicks onto place. Um, oh, I smell it in the air. So anyways, scent profile. So it smells identical to Parfums de Marley Layton, like 98%, like I said. So the difference between why I say 98% is once Layton starts drying down, um, it gets a little more like dark and like little woody, you know, in the dry down with Contra, with this $15 clone, it retains the sweetness. Um, so from opening to dry down in, in Parfums de Marley Layton, um, it's very complex, you know, it doesn't smell the same as the opening, which, you know, that's what you get with a Parfums de Marley, um, a niche uh, fragrance. Very complex, um, very beautiful fragrance. But with Contra, as soon as the, um, the opening blast, that sweetness, like, it retains, like, it stays sweet, like, the whole time. Um, the performance now, so surprisingly, with Parfums de Marley, it lasts on my skin, I'd say maybe about 10 to 12 hours. Um, you guys, it, it's wonderful performer. But for a $15 fragrance, I did a spray on one wrist of Contra and I did a spray of Layton and it, it stayed on my skin um, for probably like eight, I wanna say like eight, nine hours. I'm, I'm not kidding you. At like the six to seven hour mark, it does get, you know, pretty close to the skin. Um, but a true story here. So the first time I um, I saw this, I I sprayed it on, okay? Because I didn't know that this was a latent clone at first. Sprayed it on. And within the first hour, I got three compliments on this fragrance. People are like, what are you wearing? Um, my coworker was like, what are you wearing? That smell just smells so good. And I explained to him, hey, this is a clone of a niche brand, this, this, that, and the other. And he was really like, you know, was really excited about hearing about it and blah, blah, blah. 
and then two other compliments. This one guy was like, God, you smelled good all day. And then another one, um, a customer uh, complimented. And they're not just like, oh, you smell good. Like they were super interested in the fragrance. And I had to tell them it was a Profums de Marley clone. But you guys, if you're, you know, okay. So to have these two is not redundant. The reason why is because one, um, this does perform better. It's more, you know, premium and whatnot. You can use this for like date nights or special occasions, you know, birthday, Christmas dinners, whatnot, and the other. This one, if you do love the smell of Parfums de Marly on a budget, um, use this like during the week, during the work week, you know, run into um, the grocery store on the weekends. This is where I think this would, um, you know, come into uh, play. But I mean, hey, I have both. I'm familiar with this. Very surprised with this one. This will get some wearings. Um, but yeah, that's my review of this very surprising Performs de Marley Latent clone. If you guys have came across this or if you are interested, I hope this video helped you out. Like I said, for $15, it's not bad. And let's get one more time on that atomizer. Oh, man. I'm telling you. Smells just like this. All right, guys. Like I said, like, comment, and subscribe. It would greatly help this um, channel out. And see you in the next video.